Rightio, round five, Warriors against the Sharks over there at Shark Park. Sharks on the back of a massive spanking over the Dragons there. Let's take a quick look at a couple of Nico Hines pet plays that the Warriors are going to have to watch out for. Let's go. Hey team, welcome back to the Warrior Holic. Quick look here at a couple of moves that uh, the Warriors are going to have to be really careful of as we go up against uh, Nico Hines there. First situation set up their first try and actually was responsible for about two or three of their tries on the weekend. So as you can see here, um, Nico Hines is often or predominantly standing up at um, second receiver here. Dummy half's going to go straight to Moylan, who's standing out quite wide of the ruck. Nico Hines is out drifting in the back of the middles there. Um, the Dragons line is quite compressed, especially they're outside the wingers in the centre and their back rowers there. And you'll note that there's quite a wide space out between the winger and the try line. The Sharks uh, winger, he's sort of drifting there nonchalantly, kind of up there close to the, um, the line that uh, Moylan's on. Not as far back as the outside back, so it doesn't look like he's actually going to run into it or get involved. But as you'll see here, um, the half or the hook is skipping straight to Moyling, missing out a couple of middle forwards there. And as he gets the ball, Nico Hines is starting to run in a diagonal towards the outside backs of the Dragons, but not drifting too wide. Based on this, the Dragons start to have all eyes for Hines and drift in a little bit there. Eyes come off the winger, who stays out wide. And if we look at the next frame here, by the time they realise um, the winger for the Sharks is already right up on the advantage line, running full speed, Hines throws a flat skip pass, missing out the centre in the back row, straight to the winger, who's now got 10 metres of space. A guy is only a couple of metres in front of him, a near winger, big fella, flat-footed, no time to turn, and he's gassed on the outside. This was put into play a bunch of times here by the Sharks, and each time the big wingers for the Dragons were struggling to turn, just giving them too much space. So we saw with the um, Warriors in the weekend, um, the same thing happened to us, compressing in on the, um, well, our wingers and our centres, compressing in and leaving that space for Josh Adokar to get that try off the scrum there. So I hope that the Warriors are really working on this. Maintaining our width out there, keep an eye on the winger so we're not going to get gassed on the outside because we've got big wingers who are not that fast to turn and not that quick over the ground. So that's a real risk there. But the second thing we have to watch out for here is because so many people are looking at Nico Hines, he's creating space not only by the outside backs being worried about that um, wide skip pass, but also he's getting a lot of tension when he's running the ball to the line. So in the second example here, You'll see the Dragons winger is right in off the sideline. Um, you can't actually see the Sharks winger is out there on the sideline again. Yet because of the in uncertainty or um, the indecision that Nico Hines is creating, you'll see the edge back rower here in Nikore, who's actually coming in on an angle, ready for a little pop pass with a massive gap there that he went straight in over untouched. So there's the, the same play can set up for both ways where if the outside backs um, all compressing in too, um, too close, he just skips the back rows and goes straight out to the wing, who's going past the, uh, the, the winger for the Dragons here untouched. If people stay out wide, there's massive holes there that he's popping up to either off his inside or outside shoulder to their back rows or middle forward. So really difficult to know for our team yeah, how we put together a structure to, to defend against those little pop inside outside passes um, or covering that skip pass out wide. You know, Webby's a lot smarter than I am, um, so I'm assuming they've come up with a play, and I think we've found that, you know, a lot of the Dragons' tries did come from out um, quite a way out where the Sharks were beating that first defender, and that line break was just leading to an untouched try, whereas I think our scrambling defence is a little bit better. So while we might have missed, I think it was 24 tackles against the Bulldogs, our scrambling defence was really good and we were staying in our patterns. So the second man was making that cover a tackle. From memory, only one try has been scored against us in our last two games through a missed tackle or a tackle break, which was Josh Adokar. All the other tackle uh, tries have come through kicks. So I think we're not leaving those same, um, same holes that we saw that the Dragons left. 
So it's going to be a lot harder, hopefully, for Nico Hines to put these players away. As I mentioned in my other pre-game preview, I really want us to see him put a lot of traffic over him so he doesn't have that, um, that much energy to be setting up all their plays. And bearing in mind, he's always going to be too, um, you know, the second receiver there, not the first receiver in a lot of these big plays. So up Webby. Hope he's got a game plan ready. Warriors going to beat them at their own game. Let's go.